Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This, for me, was years in the making. <laughs> I've never been to an Ulta before and I finally went on a trip. That's also very rare for me. I recently went to Florida, I went to Ulta, I went to Sephora in the US, and I went to Target. I just kind of combined all the stuff in my Target bag so that I could put in my suitcase. I don't remember where everything's from, but I hit up all the stores that I've always wanted to go to in the US and I have a huge haul for you guys. So get comfy. This was my first time in Ulta. I was so excited. I've obviously frequented Sephora quite a few times. I'm not sure in the US if I did. So they do have stuff that we don't have here in Canada that I did scope out when I was inside. I went to the Sephora in Disney Springs and I just took a look around at all the stuff that we don't have here. And also Target, which we once had Target in Canada, but we no longer do, unfortunately. So Target was also a huge shop for me because they did have a Ulta in one of the locations as well. So I'm not sure how everything works, but this is from everywhere. We got a big haul, so get comfy, get ready, grab yourself a drink, snack, whatever you need because we're gonna be here for a little bit to show you all the things that I got while I was in the US. If my lighting goes in and out, gets brighter and darker, is because we're having a storm, but with brief periods of sun, which was lovely to come home to. <laughs> I'm very happy to see brief periods of sun after being in it for a whole week. If you live in Florida, you are blessed the weather there. I didn't have any sort of sinus issues when I was in Florida, so consider yourself blessed <laughs> to live in that kind of climate. I put everything in this Target bag. We have a lot, which me saying bag is the dead giveaway that I'm Canadian apparently. The actual freestanding Ulta, I only have a small little bag because as I said, I went into Target, which had almost everything that I wanted. First order of business was acquiring sunscreen <laughs> for this trip. And I was using this one along with one that I purchased for the trip. I wanted to try out the brand Vacation, which we do not have in Canada. Some of these things we do have in Canada, but I just saw them while I was in the US and picked it up. So you're gonna see a lot of everything, but specifically for Vacation, the brand, we do not have this. I also smelt the perfume, but I actually didn't really care for the perfume, though I do like the scent in the lotions. So I got the classic lotion. This has an SPF of 50. This was my base lotion for the trip. And with all the sunscreen I bought, I made sure to check the expiration date so that I have this for at least two summers because I have so much sunscreen. This smells really good, but my friends and I all thought this smelled like sun bum. I feel like their sunscreen as well has a very similar scent, but this says it's the world's best smelling sunscreen. So I wanted to check out the brand and I do like the smell in the lotion, but I just didn't care for the perfume because I did smell that when I was in Ulta because I thought I was gonna be picking that up. I thought I was gonna be picking up a lot of fragrances and a lot of them when I actually smell in person, I'm like, I don't like this, <laughs> surprisingly. But there was also a lot that I did like, which you will see. And then I really wanted this strangely for some reason. It is the Vacation Classic Whip SPF 30. I always see this on TikTok and it looks really gimmicky, but I heard that it's actually really good sunscreen. And it's a sunscreen that's like a whipped cream. The way this dispenses is so cool and also has that vacation smell, which I do enjoy in the sunscreen. This is just an SPF 30 and it's water resistant for 80 minutes. As I said, I was just drawn to the whole application and packaging of this. So I ended up getting two of them because I thought I'd really like it. I basically hit up Steph Babs Beauty. What are your must haves? Specifically from Ulta and Target. She gave me a list, sent me screenshots. If they had those products, I ended up buying everything that Steph told me I needed. <laughs> I also got this from the brand Vacation. I love their packaging. It is their Super Spritz SPF 50 Face Mist. I just got the mini of this. I saw this in the Target location. They did have the full size at the freestanding Ulta that I went to. And this one I did use once on vacation. It felt a little burny on my skin. I'm not gonna lie for this one. So I wanted something that I could reapply over makeup. That's why I got this mist. Still need to play around with it a bit more. I was having some kind of weird reaction going on, but I think it wasn't the sun. It was just due to the heat because it was so hot and I'm just not used to that. So I still need to test that out. And then I got a bunch of these because we don't have Touchland in Canada, these hand sanitizers, and I've always wanted to try them. Apparently we did have them at, I forget what store 
but they no longer do. When you're Canadian and in the US, you pick up Touchland hand sanitizer sprays. I didn't want to open these when I was there because I wanted to show you guys fresh in a haul, but my friend opened the Mango Passion one and I wish I would have got more of this scent. It is so good. I love mango and this just smells incredible. I love how thin the packaging is too. Super cute for in your purse. And I stocked up on all the scents that they had. Actually, I think I have another one somewhere. Where is it? So I actually got four of them. I don't currently know where the vanilla one is, but we got the Mango Passion. There was a vanilla. We have the Aloe, You, and Wild Watermelon. I know I love the mango one, but had to pick up these hand sanitizer sprays. These just seemed really convenient, especially for my belt bag that I wear that's super thin and can just slip into my bag but I, I don't know where the other one is. <laughs> I purchased three fragrances while I was in Target. I believe these all were from Target. They were all recommendations from Steph. I think I smelled five that she recommended and these were the three that I really, really loved. I got the Pacifica Silver Moon Perfume. I'll have the notes on the screen for you guys, but as soon as I sprayed this, my friends were like, yeah, that's a Cheryl fragrance because I think it's kind of like Ariana Grande cloud vibes a little bit like that. This smells incredible. This is probably my favorite scent that I picked up while in Florida. I have two others though, but I love this one. This is just me in a nutshell, but I'll have the notes on the screen. I don't see them here. Oh, right, right here. We have cardamom, vanilla and almond and clove. Does it get any better than that? No wonder I love it so much. We have vanilla, almond. I love those notes with cardamom. Clove is one of those hit and miss things though. So that kind of surprises me, but the other notes, wow. Those notes together, I love this. So if you haven't smelt this and you have a target, definitely go give this a smell. It's a recommendation from Babs. And then I also got a fragrance from Finery and my best friend got two of these also that Steph recommended. And I got this one, which was different from the ones that Jasmine got. So this is Pistachio Please. This is everything I wanted that Kayali fragrance to be that smelled like soap to me. I don't get soapy notes from this. This is Pistachio Milk, Fluffy Vanilla and Tonka Bean. This is the best smelling pistachio fragrance that I have. It is so good. I love everything about this. This is exactly what I wanted that fragrance to be, as I said. So this is my new pistachio fragrance. I absolutely love the note combination of this. A more affordable option than that one that I purchased and disliked. So super happy about that purchase. And then this is from the Frenchy line and this is a hair body and linen mist. This I actually started spraying on my pillows when I was going to sleep at the villa we were at. It is lavender cloud and it smells so comforting is the best way to describe it and great for linen. This I would also probably wear on my body as a nighttime fragrance for me. I wouldn't wear this during the day as I do find this quite calming and soothing. I just love this for bedtime. So I really love this recommendation from Steph. The first Target we went into only had one left and it was kind of leaking. I was gonna buy it anyways, but I'm glad we found another Target and I bought it there. So my best friend also bought some things from this company. She bought a body wash, I think an oil. She was going crazy for it too. So they had some really good scents from that company. So really love that. I also smelled the Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon, I think it's called, or Bourbon Vanilla. And I actually didn't like it as much as I thought I would. So I never ended up purchasing that fragrance. There was another one from Finery that I didn't purchase, but my best friend did. That just smelled better on her. I really love the pistachio one though. Another recommendation from Steph, this is the Future Wise Slug Boost Hydrating Mist. And I just got the mist as a part of this line. My best friend, she bought everything <laughs> in this because she has more dry skin and she thought it was perfect. She was actually started using it while we were at our villa. I had a light on and it just died. So we're gonna have to go for a little darker vibe right now. She really loved this. I haven't tried it, but she says this is really hydrating. It was her favorite product, though she likes the other ones. That's why my best friend went back for those. 
and I cannot wait to try this. If it's a recommendation from Steph, I know I'll probably love it. So I got that from Target. I bought more of the Lumify eye drops. You can get these in Canada, but the price is just astronomically different. They upcharge here for this product. So I got this for a really good price in the US. And this just whitens your eyes, which I love the look of this. I don't use it all the time though, because I don't wanna become addicted to white looking eyes. I don't have any in my eyes today but I do love that when I want a little bit of brighter eye. It's one of those products that I bought from other people's recommendations, other creators who talk about Lumify and I fell in love with it too. So it's such a good product. I've already gone through a whole bottle. So I wanted to pick up it while I was in the States. I saw it there. My best friend bought this and brought it to Florida, but I wanted to share it in this video regardless. This trick is going viral all of our socials and it's because of Scott Barnes. He uses this Aqua 4 for underneath the eyes. So I actually wanted to use that in a video. So I haven't opened it yet to try out that little hack, but I do have that here to try in a future video. I got this from Ulta. It's the e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. And I haven't been able to find this in Canada. I know it exists because I know some people have purchased it but I personally haven't been able to find it. So I got it while I was there. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip, which I'm almost done mine. So I wanted the dupe version. Elf makes incredible dupes. So I know I'll probably love this because I love the Milk Makeup one. Steph warned me that some of the stuff can be picked over when you go into Ulta. And I found that in one of the locations that I went into that a lot was picked over. So I wasn't able to find everything she recommended, but I did find a lot of the stuff. I got this blush from Juvia's Place, which she also recommended. It is Peach Rose. I haven't tried much from Juvia's Place. I have tried the brand before because I've ordered online, but you can just walk into Ulta and pick it up. So I got one of the blushes. She recommended this specific shade. It looked beautiful. I swatched it and I'm like, yes, please add to cart. I got this for my daughter and I forgot that I had this because I gave my kids all the stuff that I bought for them already. So I'm not gonna show all that stuff here, but this happens to still be here. I found this at Ulta and she really loves Karomi from Hello Kitty. And I saw this lip balm for her. So I picked that up. I know she's gonna absolutely love this. So setting that aside to remember to give it to her today. And then for the Touchland products, it was like buy three, get one free or something like that. And I didn't find all the scents that I wanted at the location I was at. However, I got free the oil that I use for my hair. I'm almost done this. I have purchased this in Canada, but I just figured add to cart while I was there because this product was free. It's the scalp oil that I love to use. This went viral as well. My hairstylist, who's my cousin, the past couple times has commented on the hair growth that I have currently and this is what I use and I swear by it. I do feel like this has helped with the growth of my hair. So I really love this and I do this whenever I have a slick back look. I do a scalp treatment and just make sure that I wash my hair at night. I don't leave it on overnight or anything like that. I just put this on during the day and then wash my hair later when I'm doing a slick back bun. And it's really helped me. As I said, I've almost finished my whole bottle of that. So I wanted to get another one while well, I saw it there. I love this mouthwash from TheraBreath and I just saw the travel version, which I picked up. I didn't even open it while I was there, but it's a different flavor than what I'm used to. I have the mild mint one. This is invigorating icy mint. So I picked it up. I saw this was picked over this specific flavor. I saw there was only a few of them. So I'm like, it's probably good. So I wanted to try that one. I got the Revolution Magic Eye Bright Corrector in light to medium. You guys would have saw that I did a recent tutorial on old products in my collection, like the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, and that is old. So I wanted to replace it. I heard this is a really good dupe for it. So that's why I picked it up from Revolution and I plan on using this in a tutorial as well. These I got based on recommendation from Steph. I purchased these prior to leaving. So I got these on Amazon in Canada, but you can get these products at Ulta. So I just figured I'm gonna show them in this video. So we have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Brow Liner. I've already used this. This is the best small pencil liner, nano liner that I've ever used because it doesn't actually break off on me. I got the shade medium brown. I love it so much such a good recommendation from steph i've only used this once but so far so good i was looking for the got to be brow gel when i was in ulta i don't know if they carry it there or target i was looking for it because i can't get that in canada yet and i couldn't find it so i wanted to get that but i do have this one from ardell which i heard is really good and it's their brow glue instant lamination lift so i picked that up and i wanted to use that in a trying new makeup as well but i've used it once and really liked it so 
So far so good with that. And then I only got a few things from Sephora. I know I got that Touchland Vanilla thing, which is non-existent right now. But I went in there to check out Sol de Janeiro because with the SPF, we can't get this in Canada until a while later. They usually do it because of the DIN number and all our SPF regulations. So I wanted to get the Rio Radiance SPF from Sol de Janeiro. So we have the body spray. My best friend got the lotion. We both got different things. This is the Shirosa 87 fragrance. And I got the spray. It's just easier to get my back. So I like spray for that when I don't have anyone around just to be able to put some SPF on my back. I didn't even open up any of these, but this is what that looks like. It seems like a pretty big bottle. This is the one that I brought to Florida with me that I really loved. I mentioned this in my May phase. This one's almost a full ounce bigger than my Australian gold one. So we got a good amount of product here, which is good for the price because that was pricey. <laughs> then I thought this would be fun to try. It's the Sol de Janeiro Real Radiance SPF 50 body oil. I love that these are a 50 and not just a 30. So this has a shimmer in it as well. Never tried this before, but all these things I'll definitely try. And as I said, I checked the dates of these. So at least I'd get two summers worth before the SPF expires in them because I got so much sunscreen. And then while I was there, my hair just felt damaged from swimming and all the water, but I never ended up using it. So I still need to use this. And this I always wanted to try. I just saw mini at checkout when I was at Sephora. This is the Chris Appleton and Color Wow Money Mask for super glossy, expensive looking hair. So I'll definitely try this out, let you know what video I use this for so you can see if my hair looks like money. <laughs> if it looks any glossier, I got that. Just a little mini to try, but yeah, I heard that was good too. So those were the only things that I picked up from Sephora. I also got some clothing too, which I almost forgot about. I will show you that as well. I didn't get just makeup. I got some clothing that Steph told me to pick up at Target. So we have this bodysuit. They didn't have the t-shirt one, but it's from the brand Auden. And she recommended this spaghetti strap one as well. I got this bodysuit to try. I love the neckline on it. She says it's like a skim dupe. It feels so soft. And it has a thong back, which I don't have any bodysuits, I think, in a thong back. So this feels really nice. So I cannot wait to try this on. I didn't bother even trying it on. <laughs> I'm just like, it's gonna be good. These ones I found on my own. But again, because of how soft these were, I had to get them. My other best friend who I was with got these as well. So these are from the brand Stars Above. It's the wide leg pant. They had a bunch of different colors. This is the one that I got and it just feels so soft. I think this is a pajama brand, but I just plan on wearing this around the house. When I film whatever, edit videos, it just felt like the most comfy pants. And I love the style of it. I love the wide legs, so. Love the color of this, but they had blue ones, gray. They had like a whole set I wanted, but they didn't have my size there. So I just got the pants, but let me know if that's a good brand from Target. I had no idea. I was just feeling fabrics and that felt incredible to me. Then I wanted some things to remember my trip to Florida because who knows the next time I'll ever go on a trip. I got this towel from Target and it reminds me of a watermelon, which was so good, it must be in season because we were obsessed with eating watermelon when we were there. So this just reminded me of our watermelon every single day that we would eat. And I just thought the towel was so cute, love the colors of it. To remind me of Florida. And then the one beach we went to when we were there was Cocoa Beach, so we went by the pier. And then I got this sweater to remember my time there as well, which I think is so cute. I love things like this for at night by the campfire or whatnot. So I plan on wearing this for the summer. And that is everything that I purchased for myself when I was in Florida. All the other stuff I already gave to the people that I had gifts for. I actually brought back a lot of random food stuff as well. I saw Funfetti cake. <laughs> that I wanted to purchase, a lot of candy and just random weird things that I wanted to try. I had this Olipop and it's the Barbie collab, which we have Olipop in Canada, but I haven't seen the Barbie and it's peaches and cream. So I thought, you know what, to end this video, let's cheers, have a little bit of Olipop. And I also bought Poppy when I was in the US cause I hadn't tried that either. These prebiotic sodas or is it probiotic? I don't know, some kind of biotic. So cheers. Thank you guys for watching this video. Peaches and cream flavor. This tastes like peach sparkling water. It's really good. I love peach anything. So this is so good. 
I wish I would have got more. Hopefully they get this flavor in Canada. It is so yummy. That is everything that I purchased while I was in Florida. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. My friends and I are thinking about taking just a driving trip across the border, either in Buffalo or Pennsylvania, they were saying, to have a little trip to because there's so much food and random stuff that I'd love to pick up, but I need a cooler to go across the border to pick up stuff. So who knows? We might see another Ulta Target little run in the future because I had so much fun while I was in the United States. Florida was just so beautiful. I loved everything about this state. It was just so beautiful. I can see why so many people go there. The flight wasn't even that long. It was just such a good little week away. I had so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video.